All right, guys, back in the garage. We're working on the old Trans Mam tonight. Uh, I caused an issue for myself, and I'll show you what I did. So I went and got this from Fab. Uh, not his fault, obviously mine. But I left it on the trailer because I was tired when I got back. Well, we got a little bit of rain, which causes those to rust. So, I'm going to be taking the turbine covers off, the manifolds off, and I'd be Cerakoting them. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. I've never done it, but we're going to see how it goes. So got the turbine housings off and I bought this. This is a little Harbor Freight blasting gun. I got it for like 12 bucks or something. I'm going to try that one out. And then cheapest blast I could find was at Menards. That was like nine bucks for that bag. So I've kind of started on this already. This thing is cleaning up really fast and really well. So I'm just kind of giving it a light coat to get the rust off and kind of get some oil contaminants off. And uh, we'll uh, keep going and I'll try to get a video of me doing it. Got the old sugar mama coming out to record. Probably gonna get her all dirty and then I'll probably be in trouble, but that's what a good guy's for, right? So uh, we'll uh, get to it. See, I got my uh, fancy blasting cabinet here. Uh, works real well, so. Well, not much work actually. Uh, finished product looks pretty good. I don't know if that's how much I'm supposed to blast, but that's how much I'm going to do. I'm supposed to bake these for a little bit to uh, get the oils out of them. I'm going to do a little research, but maybe throw them in the oven in Mary's oven and make it all smell all oily. And then I'll hang it up and spray it. I read online that uh, if you take a torch and go over the products, that'll kind of clean up all the oil. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to. Do this, then wipe it off a solvent, then spray it. Fire. Ooh. Ah. I got my fancy little paint stand here. I uh, got them all taped up and acetoned off. So ready to uh, spray a few coats of this. I think actually I'm supposed to only do one, but We'll see how I feel. I really don't know what I'm doing, so we'll see how this goes. If I mess it up, I guess you won't see it. I'm sitting here on the cooler. They look pretty good. I mean, for my first time, I really don't know what I'm doing. So we'll see how it looks in the morning, but way big of an improvement compared to what they were before. Got the tape peeled off. Man, they look good. I am very happy with it. Well, I got these back on. I love the way they turned out. They look great. The only problem is manifolds not so much so i ended up having to do them there's my dog there's my lady but so i'm getting ready to sandblast these and paint them too got these semi sandblasted up trying to beat the weather right now so these might not be the best prep but got them wiped down and uh gonna send it well as luck will have it rain came in so I uh, threw these up in the garage, don't mind the mess. I was just chucking stuff to try to get them uh, hung up and sprayed because uh, I could get them done. So they're drying now. So hopefully at least they don't rust until I start the car, I guess. I mean, I don't have much faith now. They got a little wet, so. <laughs> oh well. Well, manifolds actually didn't turn out too bad for being rained on while in the middle of spraying them. So got them all up on here. 
looking pretty good. A lot better than the old rusty garbage that was on there before anyways. Uh, if you guys ever want to do this, I mean, I would uh, tell you just to go ahead and do it. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't know if it's going to hold up, but at least it'll look cool in the garage. So. Got my Cerakoten done. I uh, am in love with how it looks. I'm undecided if I'm gonna do the down pipe right there, up pipe, whatever you wanna say. Uh, not decided yet on that. But I figured I better give you an update. So I finally got the car down to fab. My buddy Tyler at Wheezy Built uh, did all of this for me. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we haven't done the, the down pipes and bumper exits yet. We kinda got them mocked up. Uh, we just wanted to verify a few different things before we get them finalized. So we'll be finalizing them pretty soon. Uh, I actually got these powder coated. I believe this is called like um, Illusion Violet or something. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, you can still see the engravings on there of when I proposed. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I have a truck manifold that have Monkey Fab V-bands on them. They work really nice. They're really slick. They have a locking ring in them. I'd highly recommend those if you guys uh, are needing some B-bands. Got uh, tile blow-off valves. Got them from Force Performance. If you didn't know, I'm a dealer for FP. So these are also FP Force Performance Turbos too. 78, 75s with the 96 back housing. Uh, only thing that I didn't buy from Robert that was my own fault was these wastegates. These are Black Sheep Industries 60s. Uh, only reason that I got those is my lack of planning. Uh, although probably get switched out to a set of tile 60Ds. Those are specifically built for CO2. Uh, I just, they were back ordered far out and it's not their fault that my lack of planning uh, caused me to have to do something different. So but that's the reason those are on there. I'm pretty happy with everything. I'm actually been making progress every night on this thing so trying to get her done to end this off if you guys ever need anything from force performance please hit me up in the dms i'm a dealer for them i'd love to get you hooked up with some of robert's sauce but anyways guys you take care and we'll catch you next time